steal my stuff and post on Facebook like it's yours. You're fake flexing. Next time I leave the room, I need you to start clapping so I know your hands are busy and you're not going through my stuff stealing. You didn't just steal from me once. You stole from me twice. You're broke. You're broke. And she won't steal from me again. Girl, you a lie. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. I know I look rough, don't even get on my top about it. I'm already knowing. This intro is going to get put into it because I'll probably do another intro when I'm done doing my makeup and everything. But this is basically a get ready with me story time. And I'm finna get y'all. I'm finna get y'all to roll uncut me. So I am going. I'm nowhere. Honestly, I'm not going nowhere. I'm just getting cute to get fucking cute. I got a wig, guys. I got a wig. <laughs> I had this wig for about three years. It's doing good. Like, it's holding up. You know, I still fuck with it. I actually just shook it back together i had washed it and i let it blow dry then i'm about to do this video and put the wig in and then do my eyebrows do my makeup i really don't know if i'm gonna do my makeup simply because i actually wash my face now i be putting grease on my shit it sometimes don't come out the same so just bear with me just bear with me you just have to have a cute day in your life where you just get ready and go nowhere take pictures and look cute as you can see by the title, whatever happened, happened. First off, I'm finna start off with my eyebrows and then start talking. Okay, when I get friends, some of them are met on Facebook and we become friends off there. I was just a nice ass person. They was like, you wanna hang out, you wanna be friends? I'm like, yep, we can do it. It don't even matter. That's what it really kind of gave growing up. I would befriend anybody and didn't care who they was. It was just like, if you're a good person to me, I'm a good person to you. It really don't matter. I can't do this. I gotta put it in my mirror. I'm trying to do it through here, but it's just like, I can't focus. I had all different kind of friends, and one of my friends we're gonna name in this story is gonna be Angela. Let's call her Angela. Um, who wasn't that cool for that long? We had met when I was 14. We had met when I was 14. My bad, y'all. I'm a little sick, so bear with me. I really hate when I tell a story and I leave out details. So we met when I was 14 on Facebook. We never really hung out. We were just talking on Facebook and stuff. And so for my 15th birthday, I did have a hotel party. I, put, I made a Facebook post and I was like, who want to come to my birthday party? And like, don't all speak at once or whatever. A few people said something. And then when I invited them, they couldn't come. Like, it was like each one of them could not come. It came down to like four or five of us. Like, I have to look back at the pictures to see how many it was of us. I think it was five. Maybe I'm wrong. It was probably me and my friend and two cousins i'ma see I had a hotel party and i didn't invite a lot of friends because a lot of people parents don't be letting their child go outside sometimes with my mom so don't even do too much my mom was like that but i think it was like five of us it was two of my cousins and two of my friends my friend angela was one of them people that came to my 15th birthday party it was at a hotel on everything said that already at the hotel it was cool like we was making videos we was making dub smashes oh my camera is gonna die i'm back y'all i need to get my stuff in order oh i look bad okay we back to the story um what part was on my friend angela was one of them who came to the uh hotel party with me but we never really came outside together went out and did stuff so when she came to my birthday party it was really like our first time meet and greet i guess but she was one of the people that asked to come to my birthday party because she wanted to come. She wanted to come and I didn't have no problem inviting her. I really didn't care for it because a lot of people kept canceling on me throughout my birthday party. Which is one thing I really hate because why do you cancel on somebody during their birthday? I don't get it. How is you a friend but when it comes to down to a birthday everybody not your friend no more? It's just like huh? I hate those kind of situations. It's like either you my friend and you gonna show up for me for my birthday or you're not. Like, what is it? Let me know. She showed up for my birthday and three other people that came also, they showed up. I had ordered all matching pajamas and I wanted to take some cute pictures. Before we even got to the hotel, we was already having difficulties having her mama talk to my mama because her mama was at work with me and my mama was already packing to go to the hotel and shit. She asked the day of my birthday to come. So I'm like, shit, fuck it, oh well. We was all wearing a purple short set. Mine had the 15 number on the back or everybody else had their name on it. It was so freaking cute. It was something different. I just brought the uh, outfits from, I would say, I don't know. I think I brought that shit from Marshalls or something. It was so cheap. It was like $5 each and something. I'm gonna get this. Y'all know how you iron words on a shirt? 
That's what I did to that shirt. Then my friend Angel was the last person that was coming. The only reason she was able to get an outfit was because it was another outfit that I had for another person I had invited, but she had ended up canceling on me and couldn't come no more. So I'm like, shit, fuck, I'm just get this outfit to Angela. Why the fuck not? So basically, with the iron on words, you can peel them off. It's not meant to stay there forever. You could just peel it off and just put another name on there. That's kind of what I did for Angela. But sorry for the jump in, y'all. I just had to clarify that. But yeah, her mom was giving us a lot of troubles with trying to get her to come. First thing her mama said was Angela had to clean up the house before she go anywhere. And I'm just like, bro, what the freak? Then it was all on three way. I told Angela, like, girl, just clean up the house, like, so you can come if you really want to come or whatever. So she had to clean up the house first, and then she had to freaking, um, had to keep asking her mama, like, can she come, can she come, can she come? So my mama had to talk to her mama and stuff because you know how that is when you about to go to a hotel party or your friend's birthday party, you, your mama got to talk to their mama and stuff like that. So that's what had happened. To run down that whole situation, her mama ended up letting her come. She put us through all that trouble just to let her come. Which I don't be understanding. And I, my mom was like that too back then. I can't even lie. Because when I would ask her to go outside, I'd be like, you need to ask my mama for me because she's going to say no to me. <laughs> I always had to do that because it's like, she's going to say no. Like 80% of y'all can agree because parents, black parents, were strict. I don't know why I hear different for parents. If a friend asks if I could come, she'll say yeah. But if when I ask, she would say no. So I definitely understand now that I'm older. While her mama was just like iffy about the situation because she never met me before. She never talked to my mom before. So it was a kind of different situation. So, um, she happened to get dropped off at my house. And everybody else came, you know, we got in the car with my mama. My mama brought us some uh, Subway sandwiches. So we was good. We were situated. Then when we got to the hotel, my mama decorated the, um, my mama decorated the hotel into a cute birthday girl hotel. You know, like a hotel party. That was so cute. I definitely enjoyed that part because she didn't have to do all that and she just went out her way for her queen. Like, I mean, her daughter. I mean, her princess. What am I? I'm something. I was something. <laughs> that was a, a plus for me because I definitely enjoyed that. Everybody was getting along. Even though everybody didn't know each other, they acted like they knew each other. But back then, everybody was on Facebook. So we was just all like, oh, I know her on Facebook. Or oh, I know him on Facebook. It was just one of those. My brothers and them end up coming. My whole, I grew up, I, I grew up around all boys. So all my boy cousins end up coming to my um hotel party, and we were just having fun. I'm enjoying my time with y'all, and I'm enjoying my time with Angela. Hopefully, we could actually become friends after my birthday because it's like I don't really know you like that. I'm just inviting you because you asked to come. Everybody else canceled shit. Why the fuck not? You 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 offering birthdays? People, you just gotta accept people just not gonna come to your birthday anymore because it's just like. They don't care no more. It sucks to say that, but it's so true that people does not care about a lot of people's birthdays no more. I'm I'm not saying you don't care about somebody's birthday, but I'm just saying in general, when it came to birthdays, people were so selfish in their ways. It was like, okay, I'm not coming no more. Then I just started to accept a lot of people just not gonna come. It's not my fault. Whatever. Yeah, how my eyebrows look? I'm still in the learning process of learning how to do my eyebrows. I'm just like, it's been oh, I'll be proud with me learning how to do my eyebrows, and it's just. Ugh. I be wanting to be a pro automatically, but it's okay. Um, yeah, the birthday situation. Hold on, I gotta focus right here. Cause I need my line to be straight. So yeah, you kinda just gotta not give a fuck who comes to your birthday anymore. Just not take it personal anymore. But for the birthday outfit, I'm gonna find a picture that my mama took of us at the um at the hotel so I can give y'all a more insight on how my outfit looked and how everybody else's outfit look. I'm not gonna post their faces simply because y'all gonna know who I'm talking about. So, we're just going to not do that. This is so hard. I never tried to do a freaking story time and do my makeup at the same time. Like, what? But I be wanting it so perfect. It just look good already. Okay, let's get back to the story. So throughout the hotel experience, my, my brother and my family, my little cousin, them came. I said that already. My boy cousins came. Angela wanted to talk to him. Imagine, we're young. And my brother and my cousins are older than me. They like... 17, 18. They're not thinking about no 13 year old girl. They think about grown motherfuckers. They're not thinking about you. So why would I put you on with somebody that's half your age? Make it make sense. So I wasn't doing that. And she just forced herself onto my brother because I wasn't going to put her on with him. Because he was like, why is you this young trying to talk to me? You need to be in school somewhere. He, he was grown. Like, why are you trying to, what the fuck? 
I guess she didn't like the rejection that she had got from my brother. Kind of had an attitude the whole time and we was there. And it was just like, if he was going to have an attitude, you should have just went home. You should never came if your intentions was to just fuck with my brother. Like, I know you know who my brother is because I post pictures with him on Facebook, but it's just like, be for real. That's the whole reason you came. I kind of brushed the situation off without acting about it because it was just, it gave weird. Why are you trying to f my brother at this young age? Okay. I did my, I finished them. Now I got to do the little touching up stuff. But anyway, yeah, why are you that young trying to talk to my brother? He's not going to go to jail for you. Yeah, like I said, she was in the corner. Like, she was to herself after that situation. Like, she wasn't trying to talk to me, my brother, my family. Like, nobody that was there no more. And she just wanted to be in the corner by herself. So I went over there to check on her because it's just like, it's my birthday. Like, what are you doing? It's my freaking birthday. Why do you have an attitude? Why are you mad? Me, personally, I just feel like that's selfish as fuck to just be mad on somebody's birthday. Like, you here for my birthday. Why is you mad? Any celebration or anything, you mad at my stuff. That's not fair. I don't be out of time for that no one. I know my brother wasn't talking to her. But that's why I didn't even waste my time trying to have her talk to my brother. If anything, talk to somebody else that's your age. Like, that's weird. Like, that's weird. So after a while, she kind of brushed the situation off and started hanging with us. Finally, because it's just like, girl, you really here for that? And you mad about that? You're 13. You're 13! <laughs> I had my little relationships when I was younger, but it's just like, come on now. Your friend brother, who was 18, 17. After she brushed that situation off, it was my birthday and it was time to wish me happy birthday or whatever. It was all cool and godly, but maybe she just wanted attention and wanted my brother really, really bad. I don't freaking know. I still don't know to this day. So the next day when we left the hotel, my mom was like, do I want to have a picnic or whatever for my birthday? And I'm like, for like to finish off my birthday. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. We could throw a picnic. The next thing we was going to do was we was going to go downtown and have a picnic, but everybody didn't have a change of clothes to go to the picnic downtown. Everybody had to go home and change, and my mama was going to pick them up when they was ready. Angel mama wasn't at home at the time, so she had to just come back to my house, and I was just going to get her some clothes. So when we got to my house, oops. so <laughs> I almost said her real name, y'all. Why is it like this? This pro made, y'all. I be wanting it to stop being so crunchy because it come out crunchy on my eyebrows. And I just like, you're not giving. You give it crunchy. And I don't like that. I don't know, y'all. I'm going to get better because I got to keep doing it. I got to. So, Angel Mama wasn't at home at the time. I just want to clear the air. I said Angel like 15 times. When the main character name I came up with was Angela. So, if I say Angel, Angela, know them the same people. Like, don't think different because... That shit, I, I was having too many tongue twisters. Her name is Angel Angela, either one will work, you know? So she had to just come back to my house and I was just gonna get her some clothes. But like when I had company, they could just sit in my room. I live with my mama and my brother. We did just have to leave the hotel. My mama was leaving to go get the stuff. And it's just me, Angela, Angela, and my brother in the house. My brother in his room, I'm in the living room, and Angela in my room. Wait a minute, let me look at my wife. Why you come around if you know you have pants to disappear? Y'all know that song? Why you come around if you know you have pants to disappear? I'm jumping in so y'all don't be confused on this part. So my brother had texted me while I was in the living room doing the dishes. Angela is in his room talking. This is what he said in the text messages of her in his room talking to him. My brother told me she ended up going to his room when I was in the living room. He said she went to his room to talk to him about what happened yesterday at the hotel, which... It's like, girl, you a kid. Let it go. Basically, she felt some type of way about how he said it and when he said it. Like, when I was, I wasn't literally listening to that conversation. But when he said it, he was just like, nah, I can't talk to you. You're too young. But the way she took it as, my brother was like, disrespectful, rude. Like, what? I'm confused. At this point, you pick him because you just mad he denied you. He don't want you. You shouldn't want him. Damn, this is not the man of your dreams. Or is it? Is it? Let me know if he's the man of your dreams. Then y'all can work something out later on in life. But right now, baby, right now is not the time. Oh, this looking terrible on that side. But trust the process, y'all. Don't even look at right here. Just trust the person. Yeah. So, um, I guess he made a scene about it. But I personally don't feel like he made a scene about telling her he don't want to talk to her. I heard him out his own mouth say, she too young, he don't want to talk to her. 
I didn't hear a scene of like, girl, I don't want to talk to you. You too fucking young. I'm grown to. I didn't hear that. Which my brother's not even that kind of person. He wouldn't even do all that. Like, girl, make me sense. I go to his room. She in there standing by the door. Standing by this door talking to my brother. She gave me very much desperate. But I'm not about to say that about my friend because maybe she just really like my brother. Maybe if. I'm like, Angela, girl, come on. My brother is too old for you. You need to move on with this fairy tale that you got in your head. She feeling like since any boy be wanting to talk to her, my brother would want to talk to her. But any boy that be wanting to talk to her on Facebook don't know how old you is. People on Facebook don't know how old you is. They see cute pictures of you, they gonna just text you. They not gonna be like, how old is you? This, that, and the third. They gonna be like, you're cute. You're, you let me fuck with you. You know? Something like that. That's that's what I'm trying to let her understand. Like, these is not, my brother is not the niggas on Facebook that be trying to text you. Why do you keep coming on to a man who don't want you? Clearly. Clear as that. Why? After that happened, I told her, I just go back in my room. Okay, y'all, how does it look? It's fine. Oh, y'all, I am on my period, and it's just been giving me the worst fucking cramps ever. Okay, she ended up going back to my room, and at this time, my mama had came back with stuff so we could have our little picnic. She came back with both of my cousins, and my other friend was still getting ready, so she didn't have to pick her up. She said she was going to get dropped off at my house, so it was kind of like, okay. Cool. So now it's just all of us in the house and um, my two cousins in my room and Angela is in my mama room. My mama was in the living room with me as I was washing the dishes. So Angela was in my mom room, but my mom had seen that she was in her room, but she ain't said nothing about it because you know, she's welcome to go in my mom's room, but next time just ask. She didn't really care about the situation. It was just like, why, why you dare? Why you want to just sit in my room? Like, why do you have to get up and go around everybody's room in the house? Angela sit down and stay in my room. Like after that happened, she Angela did come back to my room and was uh just sitting there with my cousins and then we was just waiting on the other friend. The room I had wasn't in here. My room was the other room. Once my brother moved out, I moved into his own room. My old room did not have a ceiling. If y'all know how a loft is shaped, it's like a room with no ceiling and it's the kitchen and then it's the living room. I hated that. That's why my ears are so sensitive to today because every time I was trying to be in my room with silence. Somebody was in the living room. And I really hated that. That's why I don't like sleeping <laughs> with noise. Because I always have to turn the TV off when I'm going to sleep. Because I would need my silence. So I had to move in this room with a uh, a ceiling. <laughs> it's just been so peaceful. Like, it has been the best thing I ever decided to do. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 okay, y'all like my eyebrows? I do. So I had cut the camera off and I did them over. Simply because I didn't like the ones at first. And then my friend called me and asked me if I wanted to go to brunch. So I'm like, girl, yes. What time is it? It is currently 11.30 a.m. And I'm glad I was getting dressed because, shit, I ain't had nowhere to go. So I don't really do too much for my makeup because I simply don't know how to do my makeup for I use True Match Lumi Healthy Lumens Healthy Makeup. Mm, okay. But I used to use something else like Patty. But I haven't got my right color, so I haven't used that in a while. And now I'm really on crunch time because I'm actually going somewhere. So I'm not I'm not taking my time like I was at first. Yup. Yup. Okay, so yeah. I happened to give her some of my clothes and it was just gonna go like that. She damn near was the same size as me. So I gave her like this black tube top in these black leggings just something simple because i didn't really care about what i was giving her I, you could get a black tube top and some black leggings because i could always get another black tube top and some black leggings you feel me let me put this wig on <laughs> let me freaking put this wig on yeah it fitted her real good but she made it too tight because she wanted to look thick in it i didn't notice this when we was younger that she used to make herself look thick in leggings to get a reaction or take some pictures and look grown but when i look back on her um facebook page i'm like you doing the most. I had noticed that, but I didn't really say nothing about it because it's just like, you know, people gonna do what they wanna do at the end of the day. It don't matter what you tell them. She probably don't do that around her mama, but who knows what she doing, what her mama allow. Because at first, her mama didn't even wanna let her come. I'm just like, her mama must be strict. But the way she giving off, it don't seem like her mama too much of a strict person because she seemed like she get a lot of freedom the way she be acting. Yeah, I love me a closure. Like, I really do. Hey, that is 
Wig is from Amazon. I got it a long time ago, and it just been doing me so much justice because it just snaps back. Eat that. Eat that. But yeah, she seemed like she had a lot of freedom growing up because of the way how fast she was. I never really wanted to give off the image of being a fast girl because I wasn't doing nothing when I was younger. The most I did was get a boyfriend and everybody get a boyfriend when they're younger and see, okay, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. You get in trouble, you go through that bullshit. You go through that and it's just like, okay, we gonna get a boyfriend by the time we like 18, 17. The age she was trying to get a boyfriend was 13. You're too freaking young to try to have a man older than you look at you like that. And this just really gave off. <laughs> Ugh. As we were still waiting on the other friend to come from getting dressed, we was all in my room. So it's me, my friend, and my cousin. My mom was in the kitchen making sandwiches and my brother was in his room. Angela kept leaving in and out my room. I wasn't really paying attention to her. I'm thinking she going to the bathroom or something. So she was gone for like a long time, like like five, six, seven, eight minutes. I ended up leaving out the room to go see where she was at. She happened to be in my mama room once again. My mama had this big mirror in her room, mirror dressing. She was in her room just doing this in her mirror and I didn't really peep nothing up and I didn't ask her about it because it just looked like she was trying to fix something up in the mirror. Even though we have a whole bathroom with the mirror in there, I have no idea why she was in there and my mama didn't either. But this is her second time going in there, so make it make sense. So my mama finished making the sandwiches and we're still waiting on my cousin. So at this time, my mama go in her room and she called me in there, but Angela was already back in my room. So when my mama called me in her room, she asked me like, have you seen my headphones? And I'm like, no, nah, I haven't seen your headphones. Y'all remember when we used to have the headphones with the strings before AirPods came out? Those are the headphones she talking about that she was looking for. I'm telling her like, no, nah, I haven't seen your headphones. I don't know where they at. Honest to God, truthfully, I haven't seen them. I'm asking her, did she leave them at the hotel or anything? Cause I don't know. She was like, no, nah, she didn't leave them at the hotel. She saw them on her dresser when we got back home cause she used them when we was in the car. Back then, my mama did not play about her headphones. Like, she needs her headphones. She's always on the phone, so she need her headphones. And I'm like, you're right. You was on the phone when we was in the car and with your headphones on. So I'm like, it got to be in your room somewhere. So I'm helping my mama look for her headphones, and we don't see them nowhere. But she remember where she left her headphones. So make it make sense of where is her headphones. The only person that been in my mama's room was Angela. She was the only person that was in my mama's room. She was the last person we questioned because at the same time, we feel like we know she took them, but we don't know she took them, okay? We just searched in her room, so I was like, we can't go to the picnic until we come up with her headphones, like find her headphones. And I'm like, dang, like where is her headphones? I don't know, I have no idea of where they could be. Angela had a backpack on. She had a backpack on from when we had went to the hotel. I don't know why she had her stuff on because we wasn't going to take her home. We was just going to the picnic after. So why you got your backpack on? That was just a weird thing to have on because why? Why? So we searching the house. We searching, we searching, we searching. So at this point, my mama getting an attitude because she can't find her stuff. And when her stuff come up missing, that means somebody took it. She a firm believer on my stuff can't get up and walk. So who took it? Like, you know how dishes normally come up missing? See, she'll be like, my dishes can't get up and leave itself. So who took my dishes? Like a fork or something. It's just like... That's how she was saying it about her headphones. Like they can't get up and walk themselves. So somebody had to move them or take them. So we asked my brother like, have you seen her headphones? And he was like, he did intentionally say that Angela did go in her room. So after we knew Angela went in her room and my brother saw Angela go in her room, we started to question Angela. I went personally to ask Angela, did she see one of my headphones? Because I don't want my mama to ask because at the end of the day, this is my company, this is my friend. So I'm gonna go ask myself because she probably be honest with me. So I asked, I went in the room and asked her if she see one of my headphones and she was like, no, nah, I haven't seen them. I know you fucking lying. I asked my cousin that was in there. She was like, no, nah, she haven't seen them either. So at this point, somebody's lying, but my cousin haven't got up since she came here. She have not got up out my room and since she came here. And that's what I mean. Like, why, why are you moving around in my house? Like, not like that, but like, why are you going to my brother room, my mama room? You could go to, you could go to the bathroom, you could go to the living room. It's just like, why are you going to other people's rooms? Okay, like it's your first time in my house. We just became friends once you was invited to my birthday party. So why are you moving around in my house? Exactly. 
So I remember the backpack part, I asked Angela to open her book bag because I wanted to see for myself if my mama headphones was in there. There was nothing there in the big part and there was nothing there in the little part. But I did and I can swear to God, I seen my mama headphones on the side of her book bag. You know where you put your cup? You know where you put your cup in on the side of your book bag? Yeah, my mama headphones was right there and it was under a water bottle. I'm like, they're gonna have ones right there on the side of your book bag. She was like, no, nah, they're mine. They're mine. I have my own headphones. I have my own headphones. To my knowledge, she did not have her, she did not have no headphones. But, Angela, you know you didn't have no headphones. You know you didn't. But the way she stole them from Mama was sneaky because we both wasn't paying attention to her when she was in her room, but we just kept wondering, why are you in there? What are you doing? It just didn't make sense, but all of a sudden, her headphones come on missing and you got headphones hiding under the water bottle in your book bag. So after um, she wasn't trying to give them headphones to me, I had to cancel my picnic. I had to cancel my picnic and she had to go home because it was like, I don't want to be around no thief. I don't want to be around nowhere. I feel like somebody's going to steal from me. I seen the post, it was like... <laughs> It's like, if you my friend and you be stealing, you need to clap each time until I come out the bathroom and come back to my room. Because I don't need you stealing from me. And that's how I felt at the moment. Because it's like, you need to be clapping. I need to make sure you're not stealing. Like, clap until I come back in this room. <laughs> so, I canceled my whole picnic. And like it was like my birthday was ruined. But it wasn't at the same time. Because I did have a hotel, get dressed up, matching pajamas and everything like that. It was like... You could have just gave the headphone back and we could have just went to the picnic. Even though I was going to look at you differently after that, it's still the principle. And man, y'all, me and her was not that close. So after this situation and when I canceled my picnic and she went home with my mama's headphone still saying she don't have them, we stopped talking for a long time, y'all. I stopped talking to her simply because I felt like I couldn't trust her. And I don't want to be around nobody I feel like I cannot trust like some months y'all she apologized and said she stole the headphones she wanted some headphones really bad hopefully my mama could forgive her and i'm just like it's cool bro you could have asked my mama would not mind letting you use her headphones but at the same time you went in her room two times not once but twice the first time you probably was in there for a genuinely reason to look in the mirror and then you saw my mama headphones on the dresser then the second time you went in there to go get them and nobody got eyes on you the whole time. So you simply was doing that behind our backs. I just feel like I can't trust you. After months of us not talking, then she finally apologized about the situation. She asked me to come over her house. So at this time, she had moved down the street. So I had easy transportation to go to her house. It didn't, it was no issue. Like I can walk there. <laughs> That's how close she lived to me. So I would be over her house every weekend. Like when I say every weekend, I was over her house every freaking weekend, just going over there to chill watch tv you know kick it my head i'm like okay she changed she not a thief no more she actually cool once i get to know her i really don't see no thief in her no more i'm just putting everything to the curb and i'm just like looking for the new her people don't be the same forever so hopefully she changed but anyway, i got back cool with her and we settled it out um she ended up buying some new headphones for my mom but my mama didn't want to take them simply because you lied the first time you stole them you were supposed to be here for a good reason. You wasn't here for a good reason. You was really here for a bad reason. You bad energy because you a thief. But mom ain't taking them, so I took them. Ma, thank you. <laughs> she didn't want the headphones from her, so I got them from us. Yeah, somebody got to get them, motherfucker. So fast forward to my 16th birthday, which is a year later. I had a sweet 16 party. And I had a sweet 16 party. It was a Gucci thing. Like, I had on a Gucci headband, a Gucci outfit, Gucci skirt. Um, top and skirt was custom made and the headband was custom made but the shoes I got from Gucci itself so I'm super happy like y'all this is my first pair of Gucci slides I was stupid happy like, but I wasn't the type to like throw in people's face like oh I got this you ain't got this no I was definitely not the type I'm still not the type I just was happy of what I have since I'm happy about it I'm gonna talk about it like I don't know how that's coming out but I'm basically like happy that I got it right now it's my time to shine especially because it's my sweet 16 birthday. So, yeah, I had that on for my sweet 16. So, I invited everybody I knew, like, everybody. And my sweet 16 was jumping. Like, yeah, I knew a lot of people. I still know a lot of people. So, when I first got my Gucci slides, I was getting Gucci shoes. But it didn't go right with my outfit. So, I had to take the Gucci shoes back 
and get some Gucci slack. Mm, I was so happy because it just looked this so good with my outfit. And that shit was $300. I'm so glad my mama paid for that. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was broke. <laughs> Days before my sweet 16, Angela wanted to help me prep for the, uh, oh, who was watching the money? Cause now that just made me think, somebody was at the door collecting the money for my sweet 16 cause you had to pay to get in. I really feel like it was her. I really can't think about who took that money, but okay. That's another story time. Yeah, Angela wanted me to, wanted to help prep for my sweet 16 cause I had to go get decorations. I had to decorate the, um, the haul out because it gotta be Gucci themed, it gotta be cute, I gotta have the candy table, I gotta have the snack table, I gotta have a backdrop. I was going all out because baby, a sweet 16 is the most important thing. Like make sure your kids get an amazing sweet 16 because my mama hands down showed out for me a lot. It was the best sweet 16 ever because I only had one but it was so fun. So yeah, I had to do a lot. I had to do a lot of ribbon and running with my mama. And Angela ended up coming with us. Y'all know I had to show Angela my Gucci shoes because it's like, girl, I just got some new Gucci shoes. She was saying like them cute. I wish I um could have got some, but I can't. She can't get none because her mama can't afford none. And I'm not trying to bring her down or nothing. So I'm just like, oh, like I really felt bad because it's just like one day you will get it. You know? Don't even stress about it. just because I got it. Don't mean you can't get it in the future. You know what I mean? So I kind of was just trying to uplift her, and I feel like. Thinking about that now, it's like, just be happy for me. You know what I mean? Just be happy that I got some Gucci shoes and wait your turn. It's like, no rush. Like, just because I got it. It's just my sweet 16. You can probably get it for your sweet 16 since you're younger than me. You know what I mean? Like, don't try to bring the next person down. And that's what I would never do. If anything, I'm going to just applaud you and be happy for you that you got it. And wait my turn. Because it's just like, at the end of the day, I'm a caring person. I'm not about to be like rubbing it in your face. Like, oh, I got... Oh, I got some Gucci shoes and you don't. No. And like I said, I was ripping and running through the whole day. And we happened to finally set up the haul the day before my birthday. And y'all, when I said we was tired, we was tired. We had to get tables. We had to get chairs. We had to make it look cute. We just had to go all out for my sweet 16th birthday. So we get back to my house. Angela, of course, came to my house. She came over and slept with me in my other room. And um, spent the night because she wanted to stay over so she could go to the party with me and not have to look for a ride the day before. But even though we lived down the street, she could have just walked over here or got an Uber or something. But, you know, and we could have picked her up. But it's okay. She wanted to spend the night. So the day of my party, I wasn't really home. I had to go get my makeup done, go get my hair done, go get a lot of stuff done, get my nails done. I had to get cute. She was just here with my mama. And them two was just in separate rooms. I don't really think they was talking at all. Like, I feel like they was being cordial because, you know, I accepted her back as a friend. But in general, my mama don't want to deal with her. She don't. And I understand. Because once a thief, it's always a thief. But I don't believe in that. I honestly feel like people can change and not steal from you no more. But that's my fault. Being so damn gullible and believing what my thoughts thinking. Like, oh, she not going to do that for me again. So, so I came back and you know my party didn't start to like 8, 9 and everybody didn't get that to like 10. I really didn't get dressed until I got to the hall simply because I wanted to get dressed there to make sure all eyes was on me when I walked through that door with my outfit on and like turn up and have fun. As I put my outfit on, I'm looking for my Gucci shoes y'all. I'm looking for my shoes. Everything was in my bag besides my Gucci shoes. And I'm asking um, Angela like, have you seen my shoes? Have you seen my shoes? And she like, no, nah, I haven't seen them. But I'm going to go check in the car. She went to my mom's car. She had some mom for the keys and went to my mom's car to get my shoes out the car. Because I thought they was in my bag that I packed. You know, I packed the bag to get ready here. My shoes should not be in the car. So I'm in there with my outfit on, like, in another room uh, besides the party. Like, it was another room and then it was the hall. So I'm in there getting dressed, but I'm out of shoes. I'm not going anywhere until she brings me my shoes because that's what I need to complete my outfit. So she goes to the car to get my shoes. They come back looking worn. It wasn't how it looked it when I first got the box and opened it and stuff like that. It wasn't looking like that. It, it was stuck on the bottom of the shoe. I don't know if she went to the car to get my shoes to walk into the building with my shoes on to see if she could fit them. That's what I really think because why are they dirty at the bottom? But I didn't say nothing of it because it's just like, hmm, maybe I did that to my shoe. I don't know. Maybe my mom was doing something. I don't know. I was putting everything past what I should have been looking at. I wasn't looking for her to be doing this. I don't know if she tried to sabotage my birthday outfit or what. 
but it wasn't given. It wasn't given brand new. It was given warm. So I kind of just wiped them off and got on with my day. So after after I did my main entrance of my birthday party, you know, party wasn't over till like 12 1. It started raining and stuff. Yeah, it was busting out. I'm not even gonna lie. It was a lot of people at my sweet 16. My best friend was there. Long live him. He was there. And then he left. He wasn't even there for that long. I think he just came and showed his face, take some pictures, and leave. Y'all know how y'all have a party, and then after the party, it turned into an old big party. Yes, that's how my stuff turned. All my grown cousins end up coming, and when it was like 11.50, they started playing. Move to the right. Move to the left. Back it up. Mm, mm, mm. And, uh, mm, mm. My cousin Cottrell, he made a song for me for my birthday, y'all. He performed it at my um Sweet 16, y'all. It was the sweetest thing ever. And I'm just like, um, so it was a mini concert too. Like a party, a concert, the birthday girl, family, old people. It was really fun. I didn't really enjoy myself. So after everybody started leaving and the old people still dancing, not trying to go home. We did have the hall until like two. Well, one thirty, I don't remember, but everybody else was leaving. They were just enjoying their time, which is fine. I was having so much fun, y'all. Angela was coming home with me again because she wanted to spend another night. I don't know why. So everybody was helping us clean up, fold the tables, fold the chairs. Y'all, I had this banana pudding table. If y'all don't know me, I love banana pudding. I will go to hell and back for banana pudding. <laughs> like, I really love banana pudding. I had this banana pudding table. And then on another table, I had some sandwiches. It was a lot of stuff. It was a lot of variety of stuff in my Sweet 16. I'm just like, ain't nobody finna be starving. Everybody gonna get a snack. Everybody got some water if you're tired. All that. I had a situation. We finished taking everything back to the car. So it was like a two trip type of thing. It wasn't that many trips because we didn't have that much stuff left over. Just tables and chairs, some snacks. So Angela spent the night over again. And the day after my party, my grandma and my granddad wanted to take me out because they didn't come to the party because, you know, old people don't really like to party for real. Like, especially in your 60s, they don't want to party. They just want to take you out or give you some money. I had found out that she wanted to take me out after my party. And Angela was already spending the night over there. So I was just like, she could just stay here unless she want to go home. Because I was going early in the morning with them. The night before I was going to go out with my grandma and them, I put my shoes in my box. If you knew me back then, I had boxes full of boxes on the wall. Like, I was a shoe freak. Like, I love shoes. It was on the wall. I used to have them set up. And the next day, I was thinking about putting my box on my wall and then putting the shoe out on top of it. Like, how you see at a store, at a Jordan store, at a shoe store, Foot Locker. Because it was already shoes like that. I just had to add this one to the collection. So the day of my grandma and my granddad wanted to take me out, I had to shower and stuff, of course, because I was just partying yesterday. Yeah, I had to shower and stuff. And Angela had to shower and stuff, too, just to go home. So after I had got ready, she ended up getting ready, too. My mama had told me to go downstairs and start the car. So I had went downstairs and start the car, and I was waiting on them to come downstairs. They came downstairs. We dropped Angela off at home. My mom took me to my grandma and my granddad. I think we went to the Cheesecake Factory. So after I finished having dinner with them, I ended up going back home. So I'm telling everybody, send them pictures and the videos y'all got with me so I could post them. The photographer, I had people recording me. I had a lot of stuff and I wanted all them videos because I wanted to look back and post them. I was texting my auntie because my mama had priorly told her she had brought me some Gucci shoes. My mama had told my auntie she had brought me some Gucci shoes. And my mama was like, Dari, send a picture to your auntie of your Gucci shoes. I didn't have a picture of my Gucci shoes besides in the outfits with my Gucci shoes on. But I wanted to actually take a picture with the box and with the shoes so he could know it's the real deal. So I went to go get my Gucci shoes out the um, closet. And then I opened the box to take a picture and my shoes was not in there. <clears throat> my shoes was not in that box. It was a million and one things going through my head because it's just like, the fuck? I don't remember the last time I touched my shoes. But mad y'all, in my head, I'm not thinking like, oh, I just put them in the box last night before I went to sleep. I wasn't thinking of that. I'm thinking everything but that. I'm thinking I left it at the hall. I'm thinking I left it somewhere, like in the car. It had to be somewhere because I could not find my Gucci shoes. So I had to break the news to my mama that it's not in the box. I had to tell my mama, like, my Gucci shoes are not in my box. I don't know another way to put this. I asked my mama to take me to the hall. So I could see if I left my shoes there. Even if I did, they would definitely come up missing. 
Because who wouldn't want no Gucci shoes? And if, even if you can't fit them, who wouldn't want to sell them to make some money from them? Cause shit, that's what I would do. I don't know who more dramatic, me or my mama, but I feel like she got it topped off. Once I told her my Gucci shoes is not in the box, she was like, what? We finna go back to that hall and find your shoes. Or is it in a car or that hall? It got two places to be. So we went to the hall and we didn't see him. Like, we looked up and down that hall, y'all. It was not there, and I was just like, there's no way I can't find my shoes. <laughs> I'm damn near finna cry because it's like, I can't find my shoes. I just got these not like I just got these less than three days ago, and I can't find my shoes. They are not in the box. Are you serious? We looked up and down that hall, and we also looked in the car. It was not there. It wasn't in the car or the back seat. We was like the last place it could be. My friend took them. The mom here said, see if your friend got your shoes. And I'm like... Angela, I don't think she took them, but I'll call her and see. So I had called Angela and I was like, Angela, did you see my shoes? And she telling me, nah, I didn't see your shoes. I don't know. I feel like she felt offended when I asked her how she see my shoes off back because she started she started to catch an attitude like, why would I see your shoes? I remember you putting them in a box last night. Why would I touch your shoes? And I'm just like, I didn't accuse you of taking my shoes. I'm just asking you, did you see them? Like a simple question because we can't find them. So where else would they be? But I'm not, I'm not accusing you. I'm just asking you, have you seen them anywhere? Like, anywhere in my room. She said, no, she haven't seen them, and it was that. So at this point, me and my mama was furious. Like, we didn't know what to do because it's just like, she feel like her $300 just went to waste, and I feel like I just got my birthday ruined. Even though it was the day after my birthday, I don't care. I feel like my birthday was ruined because I got this big, uh, precious birthday gift from my mom, and I don't even have the gift no more. There's no way. Like, I was so sick about that situation because I could not find my shoes. So, some days come past, and um, I'm scrolling on Instagram, just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Managing my business, not messing with nobody. Like, I had stopped talking to everybody because I just was, I wasn't in a mood to talk to nobody because I just lost a 300 pair of Gucci slides, and I don't know what to do because I don't know what to think or where would they be. Like, some days later, like, this wasn't even near after my birthday. It was, like, some days. Like, probably some weeks later. I scroll on. I see a picture of Angela and some Gucci slides. Same kind of Gucci slides, y'all. So, if we go back in time to think about when we was in a car. And I was telling her about my Gucci shoes. Y'all remember her telling me her mom can't afford no Gucci shoes. She wish she had some Gucci shoes. She can't get no Gucci shoes. So, that was the first thing that popped up in my head when... I saw her with some Gucci shoes that quick after I'm missing mine. So yeah, I seen that picture and I text her. I'm like, when you get some Gucci shoes? Let, let me know. When you, why you ain't tell me? Like, dang. You know, when you happy about something, your first accomplishment or first gift, big gift, you would want to tell your friend. Like I did. I, I told her when I got my Gucci shoes, I was excited. I was happy. So I asked her, when you get your Gucci shoes, why you ain't tell me? No text back. I really felt like it was like intentional for her to like, like not take me back because she felt guilty. But we didn't know for sure that it was my shoes. At the time, y'all, I wore a size six. I still do. I don't know why I'm saying at the time. No, I don't wear a size six no more. I wear a size seven. So at the, yeah, at the time, I wore a size six and Gucci slides. I just wanted to know what size was her shoes. I texted her. I was like, I'm about to come over your your house. So let me in. She didn't text back and I didn't just want to pop up in nobody's house because it was just like. You um, you already mad and you feel like she got your shoes. I wasn't for sure that she had my shoes so I wasn't really looking for a fight. But you know deep down she knows she got my shoes. So if I'm coming and knocking on her door without her texting me back and saying okay you can come over. It's looking to go to a fight. Like why you got my shoes on? So she didn't text me back about coming over so I never went. She never texted me back about when she got the shoes. And how much that was and like why she didn't tell me. It was just like weird. Why do you have my shoes on? You think I'm stupid or something? Because you literally stealing from me a person who just accepted you back into their life after you just stole their parents' headphones. I should have just knew then and there like, girl, you was still a thief. I call her after her not texting me back. I'm in my head like, why aren't you answering the phone? I ran to tell my mama like. I showed my mama the picture like, look at these shoes that Angela got on her feet. They look exactly like my Gucci shoes. That I just had some days ago. In my presence, on my feet. My mama tells me like, Dari, them your shoes. Them is your shoes. And that size look like your size. So I'm just thinking like, 
fuck? Like, how did I let her do this to me again? Like, how did I let her steal once again under this roof? I was wondering when did it come down to her stealing, but when I went to the car to start the car up, she was in my room. I didn't think to have her come downstairs with me to start the car with me. I should have known to not let her go back in my house. So some days later after her still not text me back, her my mom gets a call from her mom. When her mama called my mama, she was talking to my mama about the shoe situation. So she ended up saying she did not pay for them Gucci shoes. So she do not know where Angela got them Gucci shoes from because she did not come out her own pocket to pay for them Gucci shoes. So Angela got some Gucci shoes from a friend or a cousin, them must not be her because she didn't pay for them. That sums up everything of what I was thinking in my head because I'm like, you said your mama don't have enough money to pay for your Gucci shoes. You said you would never get no Gucci shoes. You said you can't afford them. And then your mom says she didn't pay for them. Like she physically had to call my mom because I kept texting Angela about my Gucci shoes that she had on her feet. She happened to tell her mama and her mama ended up calling my mom and my mom ended up telling me. She didn't own them shoes. They were simply mine. Me and my mom went to go file the police report on her and we knew her address and everything because we've been over there before. We filed the police report and it took weeks for the police report to actually get somewhere. Y'all probably like, you doing too much, you should never file that police report on her after her mama then called you and told you that she basically didn't pay for the shoes. Me personally, I don't care. This is her second time stealing from us. You stealing from us, you finna deal with the consequence. You finna go to jail or you finna return our stuff and give me money from even stealing from us in general. I forgot to jump in on this part, but when her mama called us, she called because I kept contacting her daughter about my shoes. Like I said, first I was like, when you get them shoes, you told me you couldn't pay for them, this, that, and the third. And then I was like, I'm finna be on my way over there and stuff. And she did not respond to that. Then I was calling her, did not respond to that. It's just like, why did you even steal them and then take a picture in them? If anything, had them. Had them for five more years. Had them. I probably forget about them. But no, you want to be so thirsty and post them like you got them for real when you really don't. Mm -mm. I'm not completely sure on how that police report went. But I know she came to my house giving me my shoes back. I don't know if the police scared her. I don't know if the situation was like, I don't know how it went. We also informed her mom that we was making a police report. Maybe that ticked her off and made her want to get my shoes back. The day before she gave me my Gucci shoes back, I made a Facebook post saying, y'all need to watch who y'all call y'all friends. How you gonna steal my stuff and post on Facebook like it's yours? And I screenshot the picture of me in my Gucci shoes and her in my Gucci shoes. And people were just laughing at it, like egging it on. People were really steal from you. They grabbed me like that. I can't hang around on people, but but she gave me my shoes back and we never talked since. I also made her delete her picture with the Gucci shoes because you flexing with somebody else stuck. But definitely learn from my mistakes. Don't let everybody in your house, don't call everybody your friend because they will steal from you. And then post on Facebook like it's theirs. Like they getting money. No, oh, you really broke in real life. Like That's it for my story time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on for every Wednesday and your girl out.